just like five years ago, I had Sunday dinner with my three daughters. And they were all teenagers. And they were all connected, all looking at the phones, which was, of course, pissing me off. And I start to see that they didn't know what silence is. They didn't relate to silence at all. And I mentioned silence to them. And I said, silence is nothing. And nothing comes from nothing. To me, that was, I wouldn't say shocking, but a huge surprise. And I had spent so much of my life to venture into silence. I walked alone to the South Pole for 50 days and nights into this huge white nothingness with no radio, no telephone, hardly spoke to myself. And that taught me a great lesson on the importance of silence surrounding you, but even more important, inner silence. So then I came up with three questions. What is silence? Where is silence? And why is it more important today than ever before? After two years, I came down to 33 answers. Which is quite a few answers there. And just to maybe expand on that. So silence, clearly there's the kind of audio definition of silence, which I'm sure is what most people think of, just you're not hearing anything. Your concept to me seems much more holistic than that. Silence in terms of being with yourself, being alone, being with your thoughts. Yes. To me, the opposite of silence is noise, not necessarily sounds, but could be sounds, but also all kinds of noise, all kinds of expectations that the telephone is going to ring. You can't look into a starry night. There's all this mad, mad light. A car is passing. A radio is running. You're always interrupted because you're always available. All this is noise to me. So the silence I wanted to explore and sit down and write about is this more like this inner silence, the silence we all have within, the silence which is there waiting for us to be discovered, to be explored. And of course, this silence is about yourself. Noise is always about running away from yourself. It's always about trying to be someone else while silence is trying to be yourself. Just comfortable with yourself or at home with yourself. Or... <laughs> yeah, but it could also be pretty uncomfortable because, of course, noise is always the easiest option in life because then you don't have to really take anything that serious. While silence is quite often a little bit complicated, a little bit challenging, could be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's certainly worth it. Just to talk a little bit about that third question, and I'm sure part of the answer of why silence is more important than ever has to do with just how connected we are with technology, especially kids and teenagers and anyone that's a parent definitely knows this and sees this. But can you talk a little bit about, I guess, your answer, your perspective on why it's more important than ever before? I think it always has been very important. But today, because we live in a culture where we are always supposed to be available, we always have a phone with us. Some of the quite a few thousands of the brightest people on earth, the best educated people on earth, the best paid people on earth are working day and night to get us addicted to our phones. So because we are disturbed, interrupted, spending like three or four hours every day over phone, if we live until we're like 82, 83 years, like we do in the States and in Norway, we will spend around 13 years of our life looking onto a screen of, on of a telephone. That's insane. So I just decided I really have to sit down and write a book for as many people as possible to read, not because I'm going to tell anyone what they're going to do, but just tell people about my own ideas about it and how crazy it has become and about how rich life can be.